Okay, we've got the uh, Baby Lock BL9 here, and we've got some fairly thick fleece that we're going to run through it. Have the standard presser foot on it, and if you buy one of these machines, they run about $99, and I'd suggest just buying a generic walking foot for it. It uh, sews much better with this when it comes to thicker material, but I'm going to do the test just showing the standard foot so you can get an idea of how it sounds and how it sews through. here on the edge so I can reuse this on the other machines we're going to look at. Okay, here we go. Got my stitch length set at four, just a straight stitch. So on fleece you want to do a good long stitch. And my tension set at C, six. Okay. No thread cutter on this machine. Does a nice stitch, nice and even on both sides. If you can see the wide in there, and uh, minimum puckering, so does a good job on it. Um, I've got another side over here. It's folded up. We've got one, two, three, four, four layers. Um, let me run it through there real quick. And let you hear how it sounds when it goes through four layers. Okay, there's our stitch right there. And there it is on that side, it's the long one. So again, it does a good stitch. And that's on four layers of uh, fleece. This is uh, fairly thick. It's not extremely thick, but it's fairly thick. So I'm gonna grab some other fleece that's a little bit more fluffy, fatter. Uh, I don't know if it's any denser, probably less dense, but let's try it and see how it does and how it sounds. Okay, I've got this um, fleece here. It's kind of airy, kind of uh, different, not as dense as the other was. Um, but we're going to fold it over here and sew it through there so you can kind of see what it does on uh, this type of a seam, and this type of fleece. This is a good fleece for winter. It's nice and soft and fluffy. And uh, I've sewed it for family members and they'll love it in the winter time. So. Anyway, it's in my stash. Let's give it a try here. And we're using the Baby Lock BL9 still with a standard foot on it. So this is the way you get it from the store, basically. Put my foot down, that'll help. Stitch length is at four, which is the longest stitch on this machine. And tension is set at six. So you can see our seam in what? Nice even stitch. Nice even stitch there. I've sewed on this machine before on this type of fabric, so I kind of know the settings that work on it, but the tension's at six and the stitch length at four works, works really well on it. So. Okay, that does it for the BL9. Uh, let's move over to the uh, Singer Heavy Duty next, and uh, then after that we'll move on to the Janome HD1000, so you can hear that. Okay, I've got the Singer Heavy Duty set up. This is the model 4223. Uh, they've got a new model out now that's a 4232, I believe it is, with 32 stitches instead of 23 and it's on sale for like $189, so it's a good value if you can find it. Uh, I've considered getting it and uh, 
giving this one to my daughter. But anyway, we've got some fairly heavy fleece here, and I'm going to fold it over. We're going to do, let's go ahead and do four layers on this since this is a heavy duty machine. Let's see how it does. Okay, one, two, three, four. There we go. What's this machine? I wish the presser foot was a little bit higher. I like the way the Janome uh, HD 1000, the foot is very high and the workspace here is much greater. Uh, but this is a good little machine. It's very strong, as you'll see. Find my thread here. I've got red, kind of a burnt orange, dark bronze looking whatever thread in the bottom uh, it looks like it's somewhat red so it's going to blend in a bit it's not white in the bobbin so but we've got white on top so i've got my tension set at four i'm going to go to five on this and my stitch length is set at four good to go. This machine will sew very fast so I'm going to floor it and let you see what the speed's like. So that's the speed of it. Got a thread cutter on it. And it has an auto threader also, which is right there. Okay, good looking stitch. Stitch length four again. Tension is set on five. And we have no puckering and just a good nice seam. So, good machine. Fast, quiet. Um, let me try the uh, fluffy fleece again so you can see something a little bit different density. Okay, this is the fluffy fleece that we used on the last test on the BL9. And uh, again, I'm gonna fold this over. Uh, we're gonna double it for this machine. So we've got four layers going through again. Here we go. Make sure the presser foot is down this time. Okay. Again, a very nice stitch, very even, and goes through it quickly and it's quiet. Uh, this has a size 11 needle on it. I had a size 14 needle on the BL9. Um, I find that it does better with a little bit heavier needle uh, when it comes to some of this kind of material, but on this machine and on the uh, the uh, HD 1000 also I'm going to use size 11 needles because they handle it just fine so anyway uh, that's that machine so let's get over to the uh, Janome HD 1000 next okay this is the Janome uh, HD 1000 and I really like the threader on this so I thought I'd show it to you make sure your needles in the highest position and And what I like about it is just do that and let go and it threads perfectly every time. The one on the singer is a little bit a little bit loose and flaky at times. You gotta kinda work with it a bit. On this one though, that's how quick and easy you can thread it. Um, every time just wrap it around there, put it underneath the little hook and let go and it pulls it right on through. Okay, back to our test now. 
uh, we're doing a straight stitch we got our stitch length we're going to set it at four just the way we did on the other ones our tension on this one set it in between four and five and let me get our material cut the threads off of it from the previous one Red just loves to stick to the stuff. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fold this over again, and we're going to do one, two, three, four, five layers of the fleece on this one. And again, I love the space that we have here to work with. When you have big hands, the way I do, uh, you get all the space you can get out of one of these things to move around more efficiently. We've got white thread both in the bobbin and the needle on this one too. Okay, foot down and here we go. Thread cutter on this machine also. And there's our stitch right there. I buried the thread up in there so good you can't even see it. Uh, but anyway, it does a, a very nice stitch as well and a puckering. Let's try the lighter fleece on four, it. And that will give me five on that one. I'll stay back there. Okay, here we go. This is the lighter, fluffier stuff. Okay. Nice stitch buried up in there. And again, that's a length of 4.0 tension set at uh, four and a half on this one so anyway it does a good job also uh, this is kind of my favorite machine when it comes to a home sewing machine because it's got a lot of room it sews very smoothly uh, this runs $3.99 again you can get the HD Singer for the one model up from mine the newer release for $1.89 on sale and you can get the little baby lock for $99 Anyway, any of them will do a good job. Uh, size 11 needle on this, size 11 needle on the Singer Heavy Duty, and had a size 14 needle on the Baby Lock. So that gives you a demonstration of these machine selling fleece. I hope you enjoyed it. If I can be any more help to you, please let me know.